Hey guys, this is AAFlyer777 here, and today I'll be making you guys a 1-400 scale model review of my brand new Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737-800. Um, first off, I guess just start by saying, um, I know this plane doesn't fly to Boston. Um, I know we're uh, a long ways from getting, you know, service on someone like Caribbean Airlines or uh, Air Jamaica. Um, but I just, I love this plane. I mean, I've loved it since the, the first time I ever saw it. Um, and I just, I think it's such a beautiful livery. Um, it's a pretty rare model and I just, you know, I, I saw it on eBay and, uh, I, uh, decided to go for it. Um, this plane actually got here really quick. I, I just won this plane last Wednesday, um, or this past Wednesday and, uh, it's already here. So, um, that's pretty cool. But, um, that's besides the point. Um, so like I said, uh, it's Caribbean 737-800. Um, the closest place Caribbean flies in the Northeast is uh, JFK, um, and uh, they actually uh, one of these planes diverted here uh, a couple years back. Um, I know there's some pictures of that um, on the internet. Um, you can see that. Um, so uh, it's just a beautiful model. Um, this is my first uh, Phoenix 737-800. Um, it's my only my second Phoenix model. Um, my first being the uh, Lufthansa uh, 747. Um, but uh, it's just a, a beautiful plane. Um, so uh, I'll start with the box here. Um, Phoenix has really nice boxes. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have seen that, but the, the boxes are really nice. Um, it's the same size as a, a standard Gemini uh, A320 uh, 737 box. Um, it's like the exact dimensions. Um, so uh, right here you got Caribbean Airlines uh, Boeing 737-8Q8. Um, and uh, you've got the uh, 737 in flight here. Um, right here, it's a 1400 scale Platinum Series uh, registration and YTAB. Um, let's see, on the side here, you get Caribbean Airlines and uh, the registration again. Um, there's a barcode there. And on the back here, this is so cool, I love this. Uh, you've got the beautiful Caribbean Airlines logo, the, the Hummingbird, um, on the back here, and it says Caribbean Airlines uh, Limited Edition. And right here, you've got the uh, Phoenix logo and, uh, you know, information right there. Uh, you know, contains small parts and stuff. Not like really pretty basic. Um, they are pretty much the same thing as the other side. On the top here, you've got the model uh, right there and the, the Phoenix logo. And uh, the other side is the same thing. So that's pretty much it for the box. Um, this review is also the first review I've ever shot with this camera. So uh, we're going to have to see how well this works. Um, so, uh, anyways, so uh, here it is um, Caribbean 737 Um so uh, here we'll start with the review. So uh, we'll start here with the cockpit windows. Um, this plane is pretty much the same size as the Gemini version. I can't find any differences whatsoever. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same mold. Um, Phoenix one feels a little more solid though. Um, so uh, I'll do my best to uh, focus in here. I'm still getting used to this new camera. Um, I haven't fully gotten all the uh, the focusing techniques like with the iPad, but. Um, focus um all right i have difficulty focusing here oh there it is um so uh anyways we'll start here so like i said good detail on the nose um cockpit windows are all good um good detail on the uh l1 door here um i'm not really sure what this says i can't really read it um i've tried to zoom in on this thing so many times um i think it's, it's trinidad and tobago there we go Okay, so it says Trinidad and Tobago, and I think it's just like the spirit of this life or the Caribbean or something there. Um, maybe someone can tell me what that says. Um, as you continue down the fuselage of the airplane, you've got these beautiful Caribbean Airlines titles um, written, you know, in big billboard letters. They look really islandy, um, you know, they're this like deep red, you know, and they just, it looks really cool. Um, right here, you've got your uh, emergency exits. Um, the Phoenix model doesn't have as good detail on the uh, emergency exit doors as the Gemini versions of the 737-800 do, but um, still good detail. Right here it says CaribbeanAirlines.com. Um, right there you get the light. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Caribbean Airlines is based as the flag carrier of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, those are islands in the, uh, obviously the Caribbean, um, but they have uh, other, uh, like their hubs are like Kingston, Jamaica. Um, Caribbean also owns Air Jamaica. Uh, that's another airline uh, based out of uh, Kingston, I think. Um, we had service on Air Jamaica. I'm not sure when that stopped, um, but we did have service with Air Jamaica for a while. So, um, 
hopefully we'll get you know Caribbean back. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure we're a long ways away from that, but you know maybe someday we'll get flights there. So uh, I'll focus right here on the winglet. Um, it's the same thing as like the the hummingbird logo. Um, it like kind of looks like the wing um, right there on the winglet. So that's really cool. And then uh, we'll focus here. This is my favorite part of the plane, the tail, the uh, beautiful hummingbird logo. Um, I saw this plane, uh, the first time I ever saw it, actually, it wasn't a very happy thing. Um, it was on the news, um, uh, that the plane that uh, crashed, I forget where it was, um, it like ran off the end of the runway and it was like split in like three pieces or something. And I remember, you know, I mean, I, I remember it being, you know, kind of sad. Um, because uh, I'm sure a lot of people were hurt or killed. Um, I don't remember a whole lot of details about it, um, but I can just remember looking at that plane and saying, oh, that's such a beautiful livery, though. Um, that was really before I was interested in planes. And then the second time I saw it was a, a happier occasion. Um, I was in Fort Lauderdale over the summer. I'm at the airport there, and uh, this plane taxied right by the terminal, and I just... I could not believe I actually saw this uh, saw the plane um I didn't get any photos of it because it was like kind of like gone before I got my camera out but uh I just I've always loved this livery um so uh, anyways right here um like I said before registration is NYTAB um you've got two flags there um I'm pretty sure one of the flags is for the Trinidad the flag of Trinidad and Tobago and uh, I think the other one is the Jamaican flag um I don't know a whole lot about flags I'm sorry Seems like I, I get all these little details on my models, and I just don't know anything about them. But uh, I'm pretty sure if that's that's what those flags are. Um, if I'm wrong, someone please tell me. Um, and then you've got here, like I said, my favorite part, the beautiful hummingbird logo. Um, it's a nice green and blue hummingbird, you know, really represents the Caribbean and the islands and stuff. Um, and this is just, I mean, this is such a beautiful plane. Um, so I'll give you a nice tail shot here. Um, I think that looks so cool. I think this livery would look pretty good on like an A320 or something. I might get the 767 just because it looks cool. Um, Phoenix just released the uh, Caribbean 767-300ER uh, with winglets. I just think it kind of looks cool. So uh, the other side is pretty much the same thing. Um, I'll get, give you guys a good look at the cargo door here. Focus right in there. Um, so good ample detail on the cargo door. It's not perfect um, like the Gemini one. Again on the engines it says uh, CaribbeanAirlines.com. And then you get your rear cargo door, and it's pretty much the same thing. Um, there's no real difference. Uh, Caribbean's not part of any alliance, um, so uh, there's no alliance logos or anything, you know, Star Alliance or One World or anything like that. And then on the front here, uh, favorite part, you know, favorite detail, uh, engines are colored in on this plane. Uh, that's a really big thing with me. Um, I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing that, but, I mean, that's just, like, the coolest thing ever to me. Um, I know some people are, you know, big on like the satellite and antenna dishes and stuff, but my big thing is the colored in engines because um, I hate planes that don't. I mean, you know, like the WestJet one doesn't have any colored in engines. Um, but that's besides the point. So um, overall, I mean, this is I. I'm not gonna say it's a rare model. Um, more of a hard to find one. Um, I didn't pay too much for this plane. I paid thirty dollars, and that included shipping and everything for the model. Um, and it was, I was, I actually, yeah, this wasn't a buy it now, you know, I was bidding for it. Um, and, you know, I just, I didn't, it, it didn't cost me a whole lot. Um, so if you manage to find, you know, one of these, um, it took me a while to track one down. Um, I know there's one available in, like, Hong Kong or something, but I don't like paying overseas shipping. Um, and I'm, I have a serious fear of it getting lost in the mail, but, um, but if you can find one, I mean, it's a beautiful model. Um, this is probably one of the coolest liveries ever um it just it looks really good it works really well um so uh anyways um upcoming videos um let's see i have four u.s airways planes on order um i have two a330s 300s in the new livery uh on order as well as two a321s in the new livery those are all on order um not really sure when they're going to be here uh, i would imagine sometime next week so um look forward to those Let's see, um, at that point I might do an airport update, like kind of like a diversion day. Um, we get quite a few of those, these things, uh, we call them diversion days. Um, that's where a lot of bad weather in like, you know, New York or something, we just get a lot of uh, diverted planes, it's really cool. Uh, unfortunately I, I don't like to, you know, be in the airport like when there's bad weather or anything, but uh, that's a really good time to go see a lot of unusual planes in Boston. So, um, anyways, that's probably going to conclude this video. Um, thank you for watching, um, and uh, please remember to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.